Henry Yakarundi, the innovator behind the innovative the entrepreneur from Rwanda. Grand plaisir d'accueillir aujourd'hui Henri Nyakarundi. Pour en parler, l'équipe je reçois son concepteur, Monsieur Henri Nyakarundi. Man, what's going on, everybody? Another vlog, another discussion, another pointer. It's been actually a, a, a week. I haven't posted anything, man. That, that's the first. But uh, yeah, sometimes you get busy. But let me get right to the to the point of this vlog. Today, I want to talk about why one of the key points why Africa is losing the battle when it comes to innovation. As a matter of fact, I don't even know we're in the game yet, meaning competing with the rest of the world. Um, we haven't even really started the race of so-called, you know, this innovation race where we can really say, okay, we're on the race now. What do we need to do? But why are we falling behind? Because that's how I feel. I really feel we're falling behind. And I've talked about this for, for, for a long time. But, uh, but this particular key point I want you guys to know is also one of the other reasons why we're falling behind. I, I know everybody know Tesla. <laughs> everybody know a Tesla company, how they started. At least you know the background stories um, and how Tesla's trying to revolutionize the, 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 the automobile industry uh, bringing, you know, uh, electrical cars. But there's another company, much recent, different topic, uh, well, same, same space. It's also an American company called Nikola. And it's so funny because uh, uh, a lot of people say that Nikola is, is, is copying well, the name, you know, Nikola Tesla. So he just picked the first name, the other one picked the last name. But Nikola is in the same space. <clears throat> they're trying to revolutionize, at least the way I understood, they're trying to bring hydrogen uh, power trucks. At least that's how they started. They've, they've done a lot of pivoting uh, since then. They, uh, they're doing electrical truck also. So if, if I had to pick a, a real competitor now in the same space as Tesla, it would be Nikola, I think so. Uh, and I've been following them for, for, for a year now. Uh, how they started, um, the growth now, they're, they're a public trading company. Very interesting the way uh, they brought partners, how they're building the value chain of, of uh, building the, the, the products and all those things. But the main goal is, uh, the ultimate goal, I'm, I'm assuming, is they want to build the whole value chain for the hydrogen power system, uh, where you're not just developing the, the technology for the truck for hydrogen or electrical, but also how to power them during the, the, the um, in, in, in the routes they're using. So, for example, it's like, uh, you know, petrol station here in Africa or across the world. You know, you need petrol station uh, station in, 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 in different areas to allow transportation to function, right? If you go off country, especially for trucking, if you go long distance, you have to make sure you're not going to run out of, of fuel. So you have to build this distribution of gasoline across uh, a certain region, country, or whatever the case. Same thing, they want to build that distribution of hydrogen on top of that, build the technology, um, of hydrogen in trucks, in cars. Uh, so, very interesting, amazing. Now, what amaze, what's going to amaze you even more, <laughs> at least it does to me, right? What's going to amaze you even more is it's a company that has no product yet in the market. The value out of a few billion dollars, I don't let me don't quote me on it, but I would say between four and five billion dollars right now, at least a few billion. As of right now, they value at a few billion dollars. They have zero, zero product in the market. They have a bunch of prototypes. They do a lot of media coverage. 
they, they, they publicly traded, I think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they were able to merge. They merged with another company. But this is what... I, I don't know if I can say we don't understand, because I think we do. I mean, it has to make sense, right? This guy are trying to revolutionize a new type of technology with hydrogen or hybrid system, hydrogen and electrical system, battery-based system. They have no product. They're doing something that nobody else is doing. Well, at least nobody else that I know of is doing. I know hydrogen is not a new uh, technology, but it's, it's been problematic in a lot of ways. But they're doing something innovative. They have no proof of concept. They've been pivoted since they started, left and right. But they're getting enough funding to continue development, to continue testing their business model, their technology, to continue to see who would be interested in their products. Um, they're able to sign partnership, quote unquote, or, or having purchasing orders from uh, uh, clients, big clients, even though they don't have a product yet. So that, that's, that's a positive, right? Um, but they, they, it's amazing how in the States you can do that, not have any product, not have a, any proof of concept. Even if you have a partnership structure or, or, or a PO, you don't have the product ready and you're able to be valuable. Sorry, man, my, my, my camera is acting up. You're able to be valued at a few billion dollars. And no one is, well, very few people is questioning what you're doing, but you are, but you are innovating. That's what the, the, the point I want you guys to focus. You, you, you actually innovate, right? There's a difference between innovation and proof of concept and all. Innovation is the first step, right? You, you, you're trying to disrupt something existing that is not working properly or is causing, in this particular case, it's causing, I mean, I mean trucking has a, a, a huge negative impact uh, to the CO2 level around the world. So you're trying to change that aspect. Hydrogen, electrical aspect, can minimize or eliminate that problem, right? Why can we do that here in Africa? Why can we have that concept in Africa? The why, I, I, I'm not going to speculate, I don't know, but it's not happening. You see, if you are an African entrepreneur, right, with the same concept, because I'm sure there's plenty of young African entrepreneurs that have been thinking about revolutionizing a certain aspect of the business and you go to a funder or African fund or funds in Africa they're going to laugh at you or they're going to tell you come back when you have a products when you have sales when you have this that kills innovation automatically because you need money to develop that innovation, to test it, to, 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 to see market fit, to, to change it, and all those things, you know. You can't, who, who, how are you going to develop, how are you going to develop this? How can you compete with Nikola or Tesla if you want an electrical car? You cannot. Our investors in Africa, our African investors, are short-term. And I, 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 I read about them all the time on Twitter, on LinkedIn, and all. And I, I see how they play this game of valuation about sales and all. And let, let's not talk that there's no money, but this is the difference. That's why innovation in Africa, except mobile money, I'm tired of hearing mobile money, but innovation in Africa it's just an illusion. It's an illusion because we are not giving the tools needed for the, the young innovator, you know, to achieve what they need to achieve and to actually disrupt what needs to be disrupted in the marketplace. We are not. We are not giving them the tools they need. And not only we're not giving them the tools, but we are lying, telling them that's not how the world works. 
Oh, investors, they don't. This is bullshit. And this message is for you, young innovator, have ideas. Yeah, it's going to be a tough, a tough journey. And and it's sad to say there's certain industry you can't even get in. And and our, Nikola is is an American company. China is also doing the same thing that the state is doing because they understood that they need to put money in for research and development, research and development. And we need to focus on the private sector because the private sector can make things move much, much quicker than try to make all this public research and development. You know, maybe sensitive aspect can be on the public side, but most of the research and development, uh, at least in the States, all research and development now is done by the private sector. You know, and when I look at Facebook, Google, Microsoft, all those companies dominating the world, I mean, literally, they dominate the Apple. Do you think they they got there, they got to the top from day one? No, of course not. But somebody was smart enough to see, okay, I'm investing in the long term. I'm believing in this guy's vision. I need to find resources to get to that vision. And Nikola is the same thing, and I highly recommend. And check, you know, I'm, I'm sure you've seen the footage. I'm putting some footage uh, while I'm talking to you guys. But, um, you know, it, it's just amazing to me. It's just amazing, you know. And, and, and what breaks my heart is the BS that we are told that, nah, you know, stick to the. Yeah, do your innovation or, 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 or try your best or do this. It's, and I always say, and I tell this all the time, I'm going to end with this. You cannot win a gun battle when your competitor has a gun and you got a knife. Unless you get real lucky. But luck is only what? One, two percent of business. I mean, one of the two percent of of, of, of the equation of successful business. I mean, luck has, a, has, a, has a, a place in there, but it's a very low place. And I'm continuously seeing industries that we, we, we're not even present. We're already not present, and now we won't be able to catch up. All right, man. If you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like it, don't subscribe. But put some comment, man. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Take care.